much heated up. It's very, very cold outside today. Um, not like it was yesterday. Yesterday was almost 70 degrees. Uh, today ain't getting that way. So, got the body sitting here on my table and I'm ready to buff it. Wanted to do this yesterday, but then things came up and I had to change everything. Now, the buffer that I'm using is this small mini polishing system. Great for doing fenders, gas tanks, uh, motorcycle parts, small things. Um, also great for using on guitars. What comes in the kit is three pads, a tool, and the actual buffer. Now this is an air tool, so it's going to be, the compressor is going to be turning on and off. You hear a lot of noise. Can't help it. I'll try editing it in the video. Um, Fan blowing in the background, that is the furnace going right now. Now, I don't like using the wool pad, I like using the foam pads. I got one that's for buffing, and I got one for that's for polishing. So, I'm going to start with this shit right now. This is the tool, very small, adjustable for the RPMs, and uh, it's Velcro. Now what I do first is I kind of soak the uh, pads in the warm water. Um, this way it kind of loosens it up, washes off whatever crap is on the pad itself. And uh, so I know there's no contaminants or any type of anything that's going to be sharp that's going to scratch the finish. Connect my air to it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start working on the sides first. So I'll try and take care of these edges first before I start doing the top and the bottom. Top and the bottom I want to save for last. So I'm going to use the number one rubbing compound. This is the 3M shit. Shake it up real good. I'm going to start with the bottom of this thing here. I've already got the neck taped up. I'm going to kind of prop this between my legs so I can kind of hold it a little bit. Take a little bit of rubbing compound, put it on on the surface, take the buffer and kind of rub it in a little bit. Now hopefully I don't swing this shit all over the fucking camera. So when I tilted it, not too bad. The only bad thing about this, using this epoxy resin, like I guess this is the first time I ever used it to coat a uh, full body guitar. I've seen a few little white spots in it. Those were the bubbles that, uh, when I started sanding it, the bubbles that were under the finish that didn't quite make it to the top. So they don't like that shit, but it works out pretty good. All right, that's first buff. All right, I'm taking a break right now. This is the first buff on the back and the sides. You can kind of see, so I can come along. Go over it again with the uh, number one broken compound. And it uh, feels nice, it feels real nice. The problem with it is that I'm starting to see where there was some bubbles that popped up. There's two little spots right here. It's the shit that's under the epoxy. And then if you've seen my last videos of this, uh, when I first put the uh, epoxy on here, it, uh, I used a torch and tried to bring the bubbles up to the top. Some of them didn't come to the top. So I'm going to deal with it, that's all. Not that big of a deal. 
not like there's like it's full of them. There's only a couple here. So it's looking really nice. This glaze coating epoxy resin, whatever you call it, it's giving it like depth. And it, it, it's coming out really good. Can't wait to see what's going to take on the front. So I gotta give it a little bit more with the buffer. Right now I'm taking a break. So stay tuned. All right, I'm back again. Let's get this thing going. Again, sorry about the air compressor. I said the first buff on the top. Get a little bit closer to the neck pocket. This is buff number one on the top. So I still have to buff it out a little bit more. I guess it's getting a lot clearer. Shine is coming through pretty good. Awesome. I'll be right back. Gotta do something. Yeah. Alright, I'm back. I didn't take a deep break. So, I'm gonna go over it again. This time, but not so much. Let me have fun. All right, still a little bit of rubbing compound I'm going to wipe off, but it's pretty flat and yeah, nice and shiny. So I'm going to hit it with a few other rubbing compounds. We start using number two now, <clears throat> and. Uh, that's going to be it for this video, because it's going to be long as fuck. Well. So, there's the buffer thing. So, get back. I got to wipe it down a little bit because it ended up getting so flat it is. See the fluorescent some lights on the ceiling. No waviness. We're over here where I had a problem. It bumped up. Not bad at all. Alright, folks. I'm going to finish this up. You guys are on your own. I'll catch up with you guys later. 